In this video, we're testing out the new Linnea Micra from Lama Soccer. Welcome, my name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. For this episode, we're basically testing a new espresso machine. This little one launched yesterday, we believe, and it's a new kind of spin of the Linnea Mini Classic that Lama Soccer did a while back. They're basically back again. Uh, they wanted to do some updates on the machine, make it a little bit more functional, make a smaller version. We think also make a cheaper version, um, just so that more people can enjoy good espresso at home, I guess. They were kind enough to kind of give it to us, or at least allow us to borrow it for a while, because we got quite curious. Uh, I still don't have an espresso machine at home. Frankly, I don't really see the point. Uh, I prefer going to a good coffee shop. Anyway, we have it, we're gonna test it, and there's a few kind of tricks with it that is kind of a little bit interesting, right? So we wanna share that. So basically it's a very standard machine, a standard porta filter with a little bit of a twist. You could actually take off the bottom here. So you can basically choose if you wanna do two single espressos, which to be fair is how I drink most of my espresso these days, like before the VBC, I tend to only drink double shots, but now more and more I'm kind of into the single shot culture. A lot of people like this kind of naked porta filter vibe, which I don't really do. So even if I do a double shot, I would use a double spout. Anyway, uh, I guess to be a little bit creative, they decided to come up with a solution where they could separate it, which is kind of cool. And it clicks off and on really, really easy. One of the things I actually really appreciate is that you can clean this. So it gives you a little bit more control, which is really nice. So an interesting porta filter with a little bit of a twist. The basket in here is a standard 17 gram basket. Any kind of traditional April fashion, what we do then is we use a 17 gram dose of coffee, right? So with that dose, we end, end up around 47 grams out, give and take, right? This is all kind of based on the coffee. Some coffee's gonna do better when you extract a bit longer, other when you extract a little bit lower volumes, right? Um, this also, is connected to the grinder we're using. We're still running this on our dating grinders that we have in the back. So with a different kind of home grinder, you might consider doing something different because the micro on the grind quality that they're giving is quite different, right? But overall, we've been kind of happy with it. Again, we kind of want to emphasize that this is not a machine you're gonna make maybe even 10 coffees in a row. You're probably gonna make four or five coffees. One, because the water tank is a bit half of the normal mini linea. And two, because it's just not made for it, right? It's the same in terms of steam capacity. I think in general, the machine actually steams up milk really well. I have no issue with it, apart from the fact that it feels a little bit compact design-wise. Uh, it's a little bit chunky, a little bit plastic, doesn't really feel very high-end, which I think is a big difference from the previous machine, right? But then again, you're not paying the same. So it's kind of unfair to, uh, to compare them too much. But that being said, I think the milk quality is actually coming out really well. There's no reason why this quality is, is better or worse than on the um, Mini. So in general, I think it's a pretty good machine and we're getting good shots coming out of it, right? Um, I think as always, there's a lot of room to play. And one of the things we haven't tested here in this video is that they're actually running an app. And this app is kind of cool. It's gonna allow you to control quite a lot of things with the machine. So you should be able to pressure profile in the future. You should be able to just yeah change pressure. I assume maybe temperature and something like that in the future as well. So they are really kind of building an app that is gonna give you a lot of the functions that a traditional professional espresso machine wants to have. So we're kind of curious to see what will come. And overall, it's a it's a solid machine for, for anyone that wants to do espresso at home, right? Is it the best machine? That can always be discussed, right? Um, but here we're always super interested to hear what you guys think about it as well, right? So basically what we have here is Lama Soko trying to give you a machine that is more affordable, has a smaller footprint at home, but still gives you the kind of professional quality of espresso, which to be fair, it does. It steams up really well, it brews up really well. It can't do 100 shots in one morning, right? But that's also not what it's supposed to do. It's kind of like if you look at the S7 from Loring, like it's... It's a different build, it's a cheaper machine, but it still produces the same quality of coffee. It's just all the little details that doesn't quite add up, right? And it's the same here, like the steam wand, it's a little bit clunky, it feels a little bit cheap, 
there's a few details here that are not obviously not super high end, but in the end of the day, if your goal is to brew really tasty coffee at home, this can do this, which we're kind of happy with, right? So one of the things that we mentioned before was that you can change the pressure, which is really cool. It really helps you to kind of just brew better coffee. It's very rare that we brew any espresso on nine bar pressure outside of competition, at least. So overall, we're kind of excited about this machine. Uh, we hope we can spend a little bit more time with it, do a few more videos, and then kind of come back with a little bit more in-depth details. And um, yeah, as normal, like as usual, we always want to hear what's your opinions on this. What is the best espresso machine to use at home, actually? Um, in terms of price, in terms of consistency, in terms of quality, right? Uh, espresso or home espresso is still one of those things we're kind of we're curious about and haven't quite really jumped into. So if you have any insight in this, please feel free to share a comment below. As always, sign up on Patreon for a little bit more in-depth discussions about this. And with that, we want to thank you for watching. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.